Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Cyber Shield. In today's video, I will go through step by step configuration of IPsec VPN. Let's get started. My WAN one interface is configured with the IP address 192.168.10.1. This act as the remote gateway for the other firewall. So create, uh, click on the create the IPsec VPN tunnel. Then go to VPN. Then IPsec tunnel. Click on the create new and say, uh, select custom setting. Give your tunnel name. You can name it as per your requirement. Click on next. IP version should be in my case IPv4. Then remote gateway select static IP address and enter the remote gateway IP address that is 20.1. Interface choose your internet, uh, internet facing port. My uh, is WAN1. That travel should be disable it. DPD that is DDPR detection keep the default count 3 uh, interval interval is 20 leave advanced setting as default then our step 3 is authentication and phase 1 setting set the free shared key must match on both end ik version select version 2 then phase 1 proposal Encryption and authentication. Encryption will be AES-128 and the authentication is SHA-256 in my case. DH group is uh, I will select 14, 5 and the 1 and key lifetime uh, I will set is by default 86400 and in phase 2 phase 2 setting key phase 2 setting as default or customized as for your security requirement and then click OK to save then the we need to configure the static route so now we need to configure a static route so traffic knows how to reach the remote branch so for that we need to go to the static route uh, setting of the firewall after the completion of the IV tunnel VPN configuration we will uh, need to configure the static round and the policy so for that i will go to the you can see here my van one is uh, showing off port means interface is showing now green so go to network then static route select interface as your vpn tunnel in which you have name that is my virtual interface and my destination enter the subnet of the remote branch for example 192.168.100.99 slash 24 in my case and status enable and uh, click uh, ok to save then i need to configure the firewall policy so for that i will go to the policy and First one, my internal one is 192.168.1.99 slash 24 subnet and another branch network uh, should not be uh, conflict means IP. So for policy, I will go to policy object, then firewall policy, click on create new, uh, give the name to the policy as per your requirement and incoming interface will be my internal that is my internal network LAN network port that is first one you can see which is showing green that is 192.168.1.99 slash 24 subnet and my outgoing interface is VPN tunnel and destination will be all and service should be also all or you can put it as your as per your requirement NAT should be disabled because this is a private communication uh, and enable all security profile if required I will enable it and the uh, log allow traffic will be enabled and keep it all session or security events as per your requirement okay and uh, uh, enable the policy and you can put here deep infection no infection and click ok to save so we need also create a reverse policy so right click on the created policy select clone reverse and rename the policy and you can see incoming interfaces ipsec vpn outgoing is internal source same you can see it's a 
created the reverse successfully and it's properly and only you need to enable the policy and press ok to save it ok so now I will check is the my IPsec tunnel is is it's show, uh, still showing down after saving the IP tunnel may still show that down why first ensure your remote gateway IP is reachable so first of all I will uh, here in the dashboard I will create IPsec monitor and in IPsec monitor you can see your uh, tunnel is up or not there also you can see so uh, sometimes uh, after configuration it takes some time uh, to get the tunnel up so also for that also we will wait for the 30 to 40 seconds or we will also cross verify the configuration at the both end firewall so I need one more static route I will tell you why so here my van one is physical connected 10.1 and my remote gateway is a 20.1 I will try to ping my remote gateway my remote gateway is 192.168.20.1 so I will try to ping it but it's not reachable If the remote IP is not reachable, stay, uh, check your static route for the remote gateway itself. I will check uh, my remote gateway is configured 20.1 and I will also cross verify authentication setting that is IK version 2 phase 1 pre shared key is the same as both end firewall. So I will create the uh, new static route that is for the my a remote gateway IP will be here that is 20.1 that is your remote gateway ISP IP and interface will be my van 1 via van 1 the traffic will be go to uh, their end firewall that is the, their uh, ISP and I will try to ping it's now reachable so it's the basic thing we need to know uh, we need two routes for static route for the IPsec VPN and the policy also we need the reverse policy still the IPsec VPN is showing down so also we can check uh, now my remote gateway is up I will check all the setting uh, remote gateway is right interface selected right net rivals are is the uh, disable at the both end DPD tetra count is bought and other so I have cross verify both the setting and so I will refresh the my IPsec tunnel still it's showing down so you can now see IPsec VPN is up so <coughs> I will try verify the tunnel first of all uh, once the tunnel shows up test the connectivity means uh, ping the remote branch private submit using your local source IP if the ping is successful your IPsec VPN tunnel is working fine so uh, for that you need to ping your lo uh, other branch in network to see this is the two static route you need and this is destination that is uh, another end branch firewall a private IP that is 192 168 100 subnet so I will try to ping this network that is 192 168 100 .1. it's not reachable why it's not reachable you need to ping this via source means via execute ping option source command means my interface is the 1.99 so I will tell you and <coughs> that's it the, we have successfully configured an IPsec VPN tunnel on the 40 gate now both branches can securely communicate with, uh, with uh, each other over the internet if this video helped you don't forget to like share and subscribe for more fortinet tutorials thanks for the watching video 
and my interface ip you can see that is 192.168.1.99 so uh, in the uh, command i will type execute ping option source and my 1.99 ip address and i will execute ping uh, 